Hi guys, I am back with another episode of Let's Be Real this Sunday. I hope you are doing fine this Sunday afternoon. Actually, I'm having a great day. Today is my birthday. And although I couldn't go out and celebrate like I wanted to, um, I'm just excited about the day. I'm sitting outside, so you'll probably hear some traffic noise. But what I want to talk about today is um, what are you afraid of? So I want to talk about um, some fears and some things that you might be afraid of and just help you explore um, why you might be afraid and maybe to get you to change your perspective a little bit. Um, So, you know, I know we're in uncertain times and we're dealing with this whole coronavirus, COVID-19 situation. This is an unprecedented time. This is something that we have never ever experienced before and so a lot of people are afraid and i just think that this is a great opportunity for us to really evaluate what we're afraid of and really think about why it is that we're afraid um a lot of times um, i know for me personally when i really evaluate my fears it's just because of so much is unknown And I don't know what's ahead and I don't have control and I think that's a great opportunity for us to um, just kind of explore that a little bit further so um, really honestly I say there's nothing wrong with being scared we have to really change the way that we think about um, our fears the people that are courageous in life it's not because they don't have any fear It's just because they learn to push past those feelings and they um, are brave because they do it anyway, even though um, there's uncertainty there. There's, you know, something that's unknown, but what they are trying to accomplish or the thing that um, they're pursuing is much greater than the feelings of being scared. And so I just want to challenge us this week that whatever it is that we feel like we're afraid of, to think about, um, you know, what it means. It means that you're facing something that can change your life, Um, but it's all a matter of perspective. You can choose to not move forward because you're afraid, or you can choose to just go a step further and push past those feelings and um, change your perspective about it. So what are some things that um, you feel like you're afraid to do? For me, for instance, like a year ago, I never thought that I would be sitting here doing a live video every Sunday, Um, let's be real, let alone I come on every day and do um, a live prayer uh, for salvation. That's something I never thought that I would ever do. Um, for one, I was afraid, like, I don't want to get on there and, you know, just be vulnerable and let people see the real me all the time, every day. Um, and you know, social media, usually we try to put our best foot forward and look our best. And we want people to see the good sides of our life and not the raw footage. And, um, one thing that the Lord told me in the beginning of this year, he said, give me the raw footage. And I was like, what does that mean, actually? And basically, he was just saying, just lay everything out on the line. Like, don't be afraid to be who I've called you to be. Don't be afraid to be who you really are. Don't be afraid to do the things that I've asked you to do. You know, just give me the raw footage and let me handle the rest. And so when I look at it that way, um, the fear kind of, I just kind of push that aside. Like, I don't worry about those feelings, those insecurities, um, that one would have, you know, and being vulnerable and just showing everybody who I really am. Um, that, you know, I just kind of put that aside and don't worry about the naysayers or what somebody might think. I just do what I know that I, I've been called to do. And so I just want to encourage you this week whatever it is that you're afraid of push past those feelings be brave you know change your perspective give god the raw footage of your life 
and just be willing to just lay some things aside just really evaluate what it is that you want and go for it like what is your why what is the reason um, that you want to pursue that dream you know don't lay those dreams aside anymore this is the time to pick it back up to push past it you know if we can get through this um, pandemic situation just imagine what we can do what we can accomplish not only on our own individually but collectively as a people you know this is some heavy stuff this is not something that um, we've ever had to deal with this is history in the making you know you can look back on this time and just really think about what did you do during your time of waiting what did you do during your time of being sheltered in place you know um, this is a great opportunity for us to dig deep within ourselves and think about um, the things that we have been called to do the purpose that is inside of us like why are we here on earth why are we letting fear hold us back so i just pray that as you go through this week you have an opportunity to dig deep and think about the dreams that you've laid aside the the things that you've been afraid to do you know write it out write it out on paper and um just put your thoughts out there and the bible says without a vision of people perish and um, it's important that we write those things out the things that we want to do you know when you have a plan then um, that's something that you can pursue and it becomes a goal and as you continue um, you just go a little bit further every day so i just pray that this encourages you i pray that you will pick those dreams back up that you would think about the things that you've laid aside because of fear and that you would push past those feelings and choose to do it anyway. I'm rooting for you and I pray that you're able to change your perspective and um, do great things because that's what you've been called to do. So I hope that you have a wonderfully blessed week and I will see you next week. And if you would join me tomorrow for my 1222 prayer for salvation, I'd love to see you there. Bye.